good health to all from Rexall. Yes, it's Sunday. Time for the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show. Presented by the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. Good evening. This is your Rexall family druggist. Taking a little time from behind the prescription counter this Sunday evening to speak for all 10,000 of us. The 10,000 independent druggists who have added the word Rexall to our own store names. You can always tell us by the orange and blue Rexall sign on our windows. The sign means that we carry the 2,000 or more drug products made by the Rexall Drug Company. They range all the way from aspirin to penicillin. And they're as fine and pure and dependable as science can make them. We independent druggists recommend them to our customers because we know you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. And now your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, yours truly, Bill Foreman, and starring Alice Fay and Phil Harris. This is the time of year when most people start thinking about their summer vacations. As yet, Phil and Alice haven't decided where they're going. Phil has made a suggestion, but Alice doesn't seem to be interested. Alice, what's so silly about spending our vacation in Kentucky? <laughs> well, I don't mind Kentucky, but who wants to go on a two weeks tour through a distillery? <laughs> I thought it might be educational. <laughs> Honey, how about Hawaii? No. No, I want to see something historical and educational. What's Hawaii got that's historical and educational? Hula dancers. <laughs> What's educational about a hula dancer? Well, that depends on what you're majoring in. <laughs> I love the hula, honey. Why don't you learn to do it, Alice? Oh, I'm not the type. And besides, it's too difficult. What's difficult about it? All you do is put on a crop of grass, then you put on another crop of grass, and then you rotate the crop. <laughs> now, look, Phil. You've just got to stop watching Milton Berle on television. <laughs> And stop trying to influence me about Hawaii. You've got the house full of travel folders about it. You keep playing Hawaiian music, and I'm getting... That ain't so true. It ain't true. I'm not trying to influence anybody. Look, I'll tell you, the children are going with us, right? We'll leave it to them. Wherever they want to go, we'll go, all right? Mm -hmm. Girls, will you come in here a minute, kids? Now, now, don't forget, Phil. Wherever they want to go, we go. And we'll leave it entirely up to... Oh, hello, girl. Aloha, Mother. <laughs> Aloha? Where did you get that? That is the native tongue of the islands where one finds romance neath an azure sky. Oh, Phyllis, please. Hawaii. Isle of enchantment with languid nights where tropical blossoms and varia... Va What's that again, Daddy? Var variegated coral reefs dot the blue Pacific. <laughs> Darn them kids, they can't memorize nothing. <laughs> Phil, you ought to be ashamed of yourself putting the girls up to this. Who, me? You know I wouldn't try to influence the children or Daddy. tell them... What is it, Leilani? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go up and put the sarongs on now? Now, now, never mind. Now, girls, you just run along and forget about it. All right, Mommy. Oh, uh, uh girls. Uh... Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, that's right. Let's do it, Alice. Aloha, aloha, farewell until we meet again. Boy! And as our two girls speak into the blue Pacific, we say farewell to the land of the beautiful, enchanted, beloved Hawaii. Now, 
Now, Phil, we're not going to Hawaii, and that's final. Why, the boat trip for the whole family would cost more than we planned on spending. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to argue with you. I'll do anything you say. Where do you want me to go? Oh, have I got an answer for that one. <laughs> This kid's a ball of fire since his pediatrician gave him that booster shot. <laughs> Say, Willie, maybe you have a suggestion. Phil and I are trying to decide where to go on our vacation, and I don't like the place Phil picked out. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, where do you want to go for your hiatus? Well, I thought we could spend it at... Oh, let's back up a little, Rob. <laughs> Lay that on me again. Hiatus. It's a word commonly used for vacation. Hiatus. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> Very descriptive. I must remember to use it when I write my thesis. <laughs> Willie, where are you planning to go this summer? Maybe it'll give us an idea. Hmm. I'm going to rough it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing into the rugged country with nothing but my camera and food supplies. Oh, it will be exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you now, trekking through the wilds of Griffith Park. <laughs> Armed with naught but brownie and deviled egg sandwich. Well, if I said I'm going to rough it. Okay, we'll leave the crust on the bread. <laughs> Look, Alice, I want... Oh, I'll get that. Gee whiz, I don't see why we can't go to Hawaii. Hiya, Curly. Oh, it's you, Remley. Well, aren't we in a churlish mood today? <laughs> What's eating you? I got trouble. You see, I got a hiatus. Oh, you're really in trouble. <laughs> you got a hiatus and a low hooper. <laughs> I'm talking about my vacation. You know something I can't get Alice to agree to go to Hawaii? Maybe you can get her to go to Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii, what's the difference? It's a lot of difference. One is pronounced with a V and the other with a W. <laughs> Curly, why doesn't Alice want to go to Hawaii? Yeah, she says it's going to cost too much to take the whole family by boat. Well, yeah. Would cost a lot if you went on one of those big ocean liners. But it wouldn't cost you much if you had your own boat. <laughs> And just where does one go to buy an ocean liner? I know a guy... Cut! <laughs> I ain't buying nothing from them con men you get mixed up with. I ain't gonna have Please. To... HMS Pettibone is not a con man. <laughs> he happens to be a millionaire sportsman. He's got a $45,000 yacht, and he's willing to let it go at cost. How much? $137.50. Oh, 10% off, huh? <laughs> That's the down payment. You can buy it for $1,200. The guy showed me pictures of the boat. It's a beautiful sloop. It's called the Flying Mermaid, and I think you ought to... No. Look... <laughs> what do you know about boats anyway? Plenty. My uncle has his own schooner. How big is it? Holds about two quarts. <laughs> You do hitchhike out here? You're in rare form today. Son. You're gonna have to drop. I'm gonna have to have a talk with you. Holds up about two quarts. Oh, that's funny, very funny. These are the jokes. These are the jokes. Look, you know, I do like the idea of buying a boat, though, Remley. Mm -hmm. You know something? I know a guy who sold Humphrey Bogarty's yacht. Maybe he has a second-hand one that I can pick up cheap. Let's go see him, huh, Remley? Why don't we go see HMS Pettibone? <laughs> we can look at the pictures of the Flying Mermaid. Remley, then... forget the Flying Mermaid. I ain't interested in the flying mermaid. I don't want the flying mermaid, and you're not going to talk me into it. Oh. Now, come on. Let's see if this friend of mine has a boat for me. Hey, honey. Honey, I'm home. Oh, have I got a surprise for you. Well, what is it, Phil? Alice, our vacation problem is all solved. I bought a boat. You bought a boat? Yep, we are now the proud owners of the Flying Mermaid. <laughs> it's a beautiful...
beautiful craft, Alice. Yeah, yeah it's a sleep that sloops eight. <laughs> and it can be converted into a sloop that sleeps eight. Yeah, and it's got a diesel engine, and it sails, and it's oh, got a... Oh, gee, it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see it. Neither can we. Well, you mean you bought a boat without seeing it? Oh, honey, I'm not a sucker. The guy showed me a picture. <laughs> yeah, here's the picture, Alice. Isn't she a trim craft? Mm, she looks beautiful. And she's all yours. I bought her for you, Mom. <laughs> How much did it cost, Bill? Not much. $500 down and monthly payments so small, you won't even feel it. <laughs> oh, Phil, that's the nicest present you've ever given me. And I hope I can afford it. <laughs> Phil, you shouldn't buy anything without seeing it. You'll probably Please. be all... Please. Now, let's not waste time talking. Now, go upstairs and get your coat on because we're all going down to the harbor and see that boat right away. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you and me's gonna have a lot of fun in that slip, ain't we, uh, Scooper? <laughs> Touche. We are now even, matey. <laughs> hey, we'll take a trip around the world. We'll live like sailors, with a girl in every port. Yeah, we'll have a girl in... Uh-uh, I'm a retired destroyer. <laughs> Eight years ago, Alice put me in dry dock, but... <laughs> Hey, but we'll still have fun, Remley. You know something? I had a little dream about the ocean last night. I know what this is leading to, but I can't stop you, so go ahead. Last night, I dreamed that I was down in the bottom of the sea, down in that salty water. And I'm at a maiden fair. We had a cottage there, a little FHA three-room job, but uh, anyway, we had it. She had a tail of a fish for a train, but whoa, now, whoa, how that gal could entertain. And what a time I had with Minnie, the mermaid, down in the bottom of the sea. I lost all my troubles in amongst the bubbles, why she was just as sweet as she could be. And every night when the starfish came out, I hugged and kissed her so. Whoa, whoa, what a time I had with Minnie, the mermaid, down in her seaweed bungalow, low, down in her seaweed bungalow. What a time I had with Minnie the mermaid Down in the bottom of the sea I lost all my troubles in amongst the bubbles Why, she was just as sweet as she could be And every night when the starfish came out I hugged and kissed her so Whoa, whoa, what a time I had with Minnie the mermaid Down in her seaweed bungalow Low, down in her seaweed bungalow And I sing with delight as I spend most the night Neat that billowy ocean with you Many brave hearts are asleep in the deep So beware Beware Julius, why don't you sneak in? I was standing here in the doorway watching you sing. I must say your voice is improving. Oh, you liked it, huh? Huh? <laughs> I said you liked it, huh? Where did I take these plugs out of my ears? <laughs> now, what did you say? Uh, do you like my voice? No. <laughs> Look, Mr. Harris... Look, from now on, kid, you can address me as Commodore Harris. Yeah? What's up, Tommy? <laughs> Finish that word before they investigate us. <laughs> What's this Commodore routine? What are you rubber boys up to now? I just got a new boat. What happened? Did you roll one go down a bathtub drain? <laughs> this ain't no toy. It's a big boat. And we're going down now and take it out for a trial run. Hey, can I go with you? I'm a sea scout, and I know all about boats. I can help you. We don't want you. Franklin, don't be so curt. Hmm? 
You hurt the lad's feelings. Let's take him along. What for? In case we do a little fishing, we can throw him overboard and use him for chum. <laughs> hey, Julius, you can come along. Hey, Alice, you better hurry. We're all ready to go down to the dock. Come on. Phil, look at all those beautiful yachts in the harbor. Which one is the flying mermaid? I don't know, honey. Hey, look, you and Julius wait here in the car, and Frankie and I will go down and find out where she's anchored. Come on, let's hurry, Commodore. Can't wait to see it. Neither can I. Wonder where it is. I don't see it anchored out there. Any... Hey, wait. Hey, there's a guy. I'll ask him. All right. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. I just bought the flying mermaid. Where's she anchored? You bought the... <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's so funny? I just want to know where my boat is. Hey, Curly, look, there must be a submarine out there. See the periscope sticking out of the water? Yeah. Hey, mister, who does that submarine belong to? You. <laughs> that periscope is the mast of the flying mermaid. That's my boat? Just the mast sticking up? Yeah. But this picture showed it right now. Now it's... The... What happened? <laughs> Oh, Frankie, I might have known. That guy you took me and sold me, that broken down, sunken tub... Curly, and... don't jump to conclusions. Just because it's underwater don't mean it's no good. <laughs> might be in great shape. Why don't you dive down and inspect it? I'm glad you showed up, mister. That tub's been a menace to the harbor for two months, and we've been trying to raise it. Luckily, we expected to have it up in a couple hours, but you'll have to pay the salvage costs. Well, I'll be glad to, as long as we can get it up. Hey, Frankie. Huh? I believe she's going to sail again. <laughs> now, look, if we can only keep Alice from seeing it until they get it up, she's Phil, not... Phil, what's taking you so long? Too late. Here comes the shore patrol. <laughs> hey, Mr. Harris, where's this boat of yours? It's right out there, in the water. Oh, gee, I can't wait to see what it looks like. How do I get on board? You have your choice of a swan dive or a jackknife. <laughs> Phil, where is our boat? Well, there it is, straight down there. Down? Oh, no. That's our boat down there? Rides nice and low in the water, doesn't she? <laughs> so that's the flying my mate. <laughs> Looks like she's got the bends. <laughs> Quit making fun of my boat. It may be a little waterlogged now, but it's a well-constructed craft. And it was built by Sir Thomas Lipton. What did he built it out of? Soggy tea bags? <laughs> oh, Bill, how could you buy a thing like this? All right, honey, don't get upset. The man said they'll have the boat up in an hour. In the meantime, let's take a walk. Now, come on, cheer up. Hey, I'll tell you what, why don't you sing? Oh, Phil, this is no time to sing. Alice, you rehearsed it? We gotta pay the band. They got a strong union. <laughs> Lay it on me. Now let me have it. Johnny, get your girl. Tap her on the shoulder. Tap her on the shoulder. Say you'd like to hold her. Johnny, get your girl. Walk her in the moon. No moonlight Talk about a June night Don't wait for introductions Don't be so formal Just step right up and do the thing That's normal Johnny, get your girl Tap her on the shoulder Get a little bolder Give romance a whirl Tap her on the shoulder. Tap her on the shoulder? Gee, now I feel a little bolder. Mm, say you'd like to hold her. Johnny, get your girl. Walk her in the moonlight. If the moon is out of view, what's a fella gonna do? Why, then you just talk about a June night. 
been gone for over an hour. I wonder if they raised your boat yet. Hey, let's walk out on this pier and see, huh? All right. Hey, the guy said he'd tie it right up here. Hey, Alice, be careful. This pier's in terrible condition. It's all rickety and warped, and the planking's rotted. Hey, and mister! Oh, oh, it's the fellow we're talking to. It's yeah. About... Hey, bud, did you raise my boat yet? Yeah. Where is it? You're standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice sturdy ship, ain't she? <laughs> hey, Julius, how do you like my vessel? This is a vessel? <laughs> I'm getting off of this scow. I'm climbing back on the pier. Julius, come back here. I'm taking this out for a trial run. You want to go with us, don't you? Uh-uh. <laughs> What's the matter with you, kid? Are you a sissy? Are you afraid? Are you a coward? It ain't that at all. Then what is it? I'm yelling. <laughs> Julius, come on with us. We need your help. Yeah, at least start the engine for us. Come on, jump on deck. Well, all right. Here I come. <laughs> now, look, kid, I want to... <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> Went down that way, Skipper. <laughs> hey, Julius, where are you? Well, stay there. That's good. Now, look, when I give the order, start the engine, and we'll take her out for a trial run. Hey, Alice, where would you like to go on our boat's maiden voyage? Albuquerque. <laughs> That's inland. This thing ain't gonna run on land. It ain't gonna run on water, either. <laughs> you know, we'd better not take this tub out. You and Frankie know nothing about navigation. <laughs> oh. Hey, Frankie, did you hear that? Yeah. Two years in the Coast Guard practically lived in whites. And <laughs> she thinks that we don't know nothing about navigation. <laughs> Silly girl. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get started and show her. Okay. I'll batten down the barnacles. <laughs> I'll reef the barometer. <laughs> in the mast. Not yet. I'll tell you when the mast need missing it. <laughs> hey, how are we going to start this leaky submarine? Right now. Hey, Frankie. Hmm? Now, I'll give the orders. You stand on the bridge at the speaking tube and relay them to Julius. Aye, aye, sir. Ready. Stand by engine room. Stand by engine room. Stand by engine room. Ready below. Ready below. Ready. Tube number one. Fire torpedo tube number one. Ja, wo Deutschland und Rolle. Ist das nicht ein lousy boat? Ja, das ist ein lousy boat. Lousy boat? Lousy boat. Ah, ah, du schön. Wait a minute. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut it out, all of you. Cross. <laughs> you guys cut out the cop, you know you the iron cross. What's an iron cross? Now stop it. All right, Julia, start the engine. I said start the engine. Where do I find it? <laughs>
matter, kid? Is it stiff? Yeah, I think rigor mortis just set in. <laughs> Try her again. Oh, listen to that engine purr. <laughs> oh, is she a beauty? Hey, Frankie, yeah. cast off the moorings. As soon as we reach the end of the pier, port hard to the starboard. Aye, aye, sir. Full speed ahead. <laughs> well, we've been out for an hour now, and we're going great, boy. Hey, how are we doing, Alice? We're almost to the end of the pier, Skipper. <laughs> Stop exaggerating. We're out about two miles out. Oh, Phil, let's turn back. This thing is taking on a lot of water. It is not. Of course not. My feet aren't even wet. <laughs> well, then why are my feet soaked? You didn't shinny up the mast as high as we did. <laughs> Must you all be funny? Now, there's no more than a half inch of water in this boat. Hey, Juliet, tell them there's no water in the engine room. <laughs> That's what we get for taking a short kid with us. <laughs> Alice, will you dive down and get him? Phil, oh, we've got to turn back to shore. This boat is sinking. Don't worry, now we'll make it. Julius, get that engine going full speed. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> It's just your imagination. The flying mermaid will get us safely back to... <laughs> Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. But right now, your Rexall family druggist has a customer. You know, I've been wondering for a long time if you're ever going to run out of stories about the wonderful things that Rexall scientists do. Run out? Why, ma'am, I've hardly begun. For one thing, I haven't even started on the so-called little things that Rexall's men of science do to guard the quality of Rexall products. Well, what do you mean by little things? Well, ma'am, here's an example offhand. The next time you buy a Rexall drug product that contains much glycerin, notice that the bottle has a white plastic cap. Why is that? Well, if the bottle had the usual metal cap, the glycerin in the product might turn it black. Now, this wouldn't injure the product in any way, but it would make the bottle cap a little unsightly. So, Rexall scientists take a little extra time and effort to design this nice plastic cap that will stay white and clean. Well, now there's something that even my children could understand. And they'd also understand that you can always trust the company that takes extra pains with all the little things. It's one of the big reasons why some 10,000 independent druggists have put the orange and blue Rexall sign on their windows. The sign means that we carry the 2,000 or more drug products made by the Rexall Drug Company. And every one of us will tell you, you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. We're a little late, so good night, everyone, and thanks for listening. This program is produced and directed by Paul Phillips. This is Bill Foreman wishing good health to all from Rexall. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.